Just melted some butter, and we're going to put in some muslin. You'll get this in any kind of like good kitchenware shop, specialized shops. You know, you can go to um, a drapery store, they'll have that. Now you need to completely soak this. This will give lovely flavor and color to the turkey. So before I do that, I always like to put flavor into the cavity. So I'm gonna use some orange, cut it in half. Squeeze this in. First of all, I want to just kind of keep everything together. So the best thing is just using a little cocktail stick. Turkey is such a lean meat that you really need to keep it really moist, succulent. Now, what I like to do is just to keep the shape of the bird, just use a little bit of string and just double it up like this. So tie this around. Let's just tie a little knot in that. What I've done with the back of the turkey, I've just put two little cocktail sticks, holds everything together nicely. Now you can put stuffing into this if you want, it's totally up to you. I will make stuffing in a minute, but what I want to concentrate on is getting the turkey really moist. So before I put the muslin, we need to season it up. Sea salt, and then what we do is just get the muslin, it's completely mopped up all that butter, lift it over, and completely cover it. It's the breast that can dry out very, very quickly. This will keep it really, really succulent and moist. Now we're gonna cook this in a trivet. This is a six kilo in weight bird. And we have the oven preheated at 190. So I'm gonna pop that into the oven. Make sure you wash your hands, really important. So that's gonna take four hours to cook, so it is. And after each hour, get a large spoon and baste it. It acts like a blanket, the muslin. It keeps it really moist with the butter. I'm gonna show you a delicious stuffing to serve with the turkey. Let's warm up the butter. It's already melted. And I'm gonna put some chestnuts into it. I do love nuts in a stuffing. Chop them roughly, they're already cooked, so all you're doing is warming them through. One large onion, which is finely diced. And then for a little bit of fruit, I'm using some dried cranberries. Let's sweat off the onion. I'm gonna chop some herbs just while this is sweating off for a moment. The herbs I'm gonna use in this is flat leaf parsley and sage. You roll it like this, so we call this a little chiffonade. In goes the dried cranberries and also the chestnuts, which are roughly chopped. Let this cook for a moment or two. We're gonna season it up with some salt and then some black pepper. Get the sage and the parsley, sprinkle them all in. So just mix this all through. I have some breadcrumbs, pour this all in here. Mix all this together so the breadcrumbs will absorb all that lovely butter. If you don't want to use as much butter, you can use half butter and a little bit of stock. So mix this, that's lovely and moist. Get some tin foil, do like a sausage shape. The easiest way to do it is just use your hands. Just kind of squash that. Get the tin foil, roll it up, twist either end, and that's what you have. So this is gonna make two of them. Roughly for the last, say, 45 minutes of the turkey cooking, you put them onto a tray into the oven just to cook it through, and then you'll be ready to serve it up. Now the turkey has been resting for 30 minutes. Are you ready? How beautiful is that? Gorgeous, evenly browned. Use a slotted spoon or you can use a carving fork. Just lift this up and then over very gently. We're gonna wrap that in tin foil shiny side in. While that's resting, I'm gonna make my gravy. Just lift out the trivet, and then we're just going to warm this up for a minute. And scrape down all that kind of sediment. Sprinkle the flour all over it. Just plain flour. I'm just gonna use the tea towel just to hold this now. It'll get hot, so be careful. The one thing we don't want over the Christmas is any burns. You're kind of making a roux, so you are. I'm gonna put Madeira in first. It's what we call deglazing. The flour is gonna thicken up the gravy, and then you slowly add in the stock. We need a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. And again, just keep whisking it. Now we've gotta taste it. Have you enough salt, pepper, all that in it? Mm. Delicious. I love the Madeira. I always like to pass it just through a sieve, and then kind of just shake it like that. You can use a teaspoon if you want to. And then we'll just have that ready to go just in a gravy jug. So everyone can help themselves. Delicious. Okay, so now I'm ready to dress the turkey. Lift off the tin foil. First of all, for the roasties, get a nice potato, peel it, cut it in half, par cook it for about maybe four to five minutes, drain off the water and knock it against the side of the saucepan. Drizzle it with some oil, roast that off for about 40, 45 minutes. In the parcel here, some root vegetables. Parsnips, celery, carrots, a little bit of chopped onion, a little bit of oil, some thyme. So they're just roasted off, but they're done in a parcel. So that keeps it really, really nice and moist. Put the roast potatoes around the platter. Next, the roasted root vegetables. So I'm just arranging these, quite rustic as you can see. It's 
more than enough, I think so. Cocktail sausages, roasted off in the oven. We have some pitta prunes wrapped in bacon. These are called devils in horseback. So we just arrange these, and then our cocktail sausages. Don't be tempted to eat any of them yet. You're gonna have a big feast ahead of you. And the last thing then is the stuffing. I'm gonna spoon it into a bowl, so everyone can kind of help themselves. Nick off the end, and then put the knife. You can use the scissors if you want to open that out. Look at how moist that is. Break it up into the bowl. That's a really clever way of baking it off. And just for the final little flourish is some sage. Pick the little leaves here, and then just arrange them. Using the muslin, you can be sure that you get a lovely even color on the turkey, and it's moist and it's succulent. I think it's a spectacular way of serving the Christmas turkey. Thank you.